today we are discovering the island of okay it sounds really weird when I say island of grass let's start again hello welcome back to love travel today we're exploring this grass island in Shaikong so it's a small island famous for one grassy view and um, we've just arrived from the pier right behind me the ferry for Grass Island leaves from Rongshek Pier, which can be reached by bus 94 from Saikong Town Center. It is the end stop, so don't worry about when to get off. We arrived early and there was a speed boat that offered a ride for 20 Hong Kong dollar per person. The fare during the weekday is only $9, but it is 14 on weekends, so it might be a good deal if you don't want to wait. We got the 12.30 ferry and it arrives early enough, allowing everyone to get on first. It also stops by the village Kola Wan before finally arriving at Grass Island. We uh, made a first stop at uh, Grass Island, so restaurants where they're famous for. Oh, just got here. See a chin fried rice. And we got milk tea. From the pier, go left, and within about two minutes, there will be two restaurants. They both offer the same dishes, so we ended up with the first one, which looks kind of better. The portions were pretty big, and the food was better than I expected too. After lunch, we headed over to the Chin Hao Temple. So after lunch, we made it to the Chin Hao Temple. So Chin Hao is a Taoist goddess that is um, sort of the patron saint for the fishermen because of you know her being a sea goddess. So this has been here since 18, sorry, 1669. So 17th century, they has obviously been refurbished and is very very pretty. And they have some more information here, but it's only in Chinese. It also has another shrine, and this one is for Guan Dai. From the path next to it, we follow the signs, which are very well marked throughout the island, that would take us to the famous grass field of Grass Island. We have made it to a sort of branch junction. So this is the pavilion behind me. So if you go back that way, you go towards the Balance Rock, and that's Sharp Peak. Otherwise, if you go whoop, this way, hi mom, you go up to the highest point on the mountain as well as some other few points. We spend some time taking photos here before heading north where there are a well-paved flight of stairs. After a long flight of stairs, we made it to the Dragon View Pavilion. You're supposed to be able to see China from here, but maybe I'm just a bit short or like the that just has grown so you can't see anything. There is supposed to be a small trail that leads up to another viewpoint. We're gonna see if we want to continue or if it's too obscure to find. We did end up forging ahead and the trail is pretty flat which is great. Here's a split in the road. So that goes to the highest peak. If you want to go to Long Gun again, go the other way towards the sea. We found some cute buffaloes grazing and then we carried on towards the coast. There's a great view of Port Island before the strange but cool looking forest. So we just tried to see where to go down to Long Gang. Uh, it seems to be the bay and we don't want to go to the bay and it's a very very steep road. So let's just go back out. So we headed back. We returned the way that we came, so we went past the pavilion. Now we're going south to the balanced rock finally. Oh, we found tomatoes. Oh, so these are poisonous tomatoes. Whoops. This grass field is popular for picnic as well as camping. We followed the sign that takes us mostly along the coast and all the way to the balanced rock. We finally made it to the Balancing Rock. Ta da! So, from the roof to go down, we were initially over there. So, you get a good view of it, but you can't really see it because it's like a bird's eye view. But here is better. We're gonna see if we can get some photos. And then we're gonna go and walk the bottom way back so you can see the sharp peak again. Very sharp. The Balanced Rock actually looks better and more prominent from the south. We carried on and ended up on this lovely little coastal walk. We 
we're now at the village of New Fisherman. So we just passed the pavilion. It was actually a really nice coastal walkway, so I think it's a nice walk. But I think most people go the same route back, which is a shame. There are still a few restaurants, cafes here, and a public bathroom. I think Mama Chai just dashed it. This village feels more laid back and lived in, and there are signs pointing us back to the pier, which was about 10 15 minutes away. We ended up absolutely legging it the rest of the way, and the ferry's already arrived and waiting to be bought. We have about 10 minutes to spare, so all is good. I'm gonna have to put my mask on and just get back. I hope you enjoy our day trip to Grass Island and um, subscribe for some more Hong Kong content. This is Mom, don't know where to go, so she's standing here. <laughs> Mom is fixing her head. Okay, let's start again. So, after lunch, first that was actually the bathroom. The second step is Tin Hao Temple. How much are you doing? Let's start again. <laughs>